Hello, we are back. We are now going to go on Papa Eaton, which is the bitter, bitter dish. Very, very popular in the locals. Let me tell you, if you know anybody, if he tells you you're from, I'm from Ilocos, you know he loves or she loves bitter things. They're good people, they're not bitter, but they are lovers of bitter ingredients. And one of the, one of the items we use in the, this called Papa Ethan, which is actually made of uh, pork, goat, beef, and this, just to show you, is the goat meat. It is all bony because goat doesn't really be, get that spot as a, a, a steer or a pork or a pig. Okay, we will do, we do use this for the papaitan. We want to demone it and just yes, use the meat. Or you can grill it, after you boil it, you grill it, and then uh, use the meat. For the start, we will boil all the, the inner parts of the animal. Let it be pork, beef, or goat. We can use the, gar the onion, of course. Always with onion, always with garlic and ginger. What do you call this? The trinity of cooking, the trinity, onion, garlic, and ginger. And that we include the bay leaf, peppercorns, and thyme. Thyme not for thyme out, but thyme as, as a spice. This is delicious. And of course, tarragon. You use this, all the stops here, for boiling the meat items. For boiling, yeah. we will use, of course, we have, we have you've shown this before. We use the beef, liver. We use the snout, the intestine, the tongue, the cheek of the, of the cow or beef instead. But remember, this is all part of the dish called Papa Ethan. Okay? There's one big difference with my cooking to the original cooking of the Ilocos, Ilocanos, or the Ilocos people from the Ilo, Ilocos, they call them Ilocanos. They use the bile of the animal. That would be the steer, the goat, the pork, or the chicken. This is the bile. In Tagalog, in the, our lingo, it's called abdo. That's very, very bitter. But then I'm cooking for the lay people, for the population. So instead of using that kind of uh, uh, particular ingredients, I'm going to show you to you how to make it bitter, but not using any animal product to make it bitter. But in the meantime, I'll see, I want to show you again the bitter corn or the ampalaya. This is really very, very bitter. And believe it or not, uh, this is what I, we are going to use for our replacement of the of the bite or the abdo. First, we, we try this as well as possible. I'm chopping it as small as, I, as possible because we're going to put it in a blender. This kind of blender is just like when you're making these salted drinks, when it really becomes very, they call it smoothie. So we're going to make a smoothie out of a bitter smoothie, not a sweet smoothie. <laughs> Tell you, it's not, gonna, it's not going to be very smooth. <laughs> but this is. I like to use this because it really puree, it really like it liquefied 
almost liquefied the, 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 the thing. And when you use this, you add a little a little water in it, you know, just just a little bit of water. Or else it's not gonna get pure. Then you cover it. Tighten it. And then Shake it up a little bit. Now that is liquid now. And we can use this for bittering, make it bitter instead of the animal item for bitter, make it bitter is the bio. Okay? Now we're ready to cook. Go to the kitchen, walk to the kitchen using a walk. Now we are going to taste the real delicacy of the Ilocanos. People from the Ilocos North, of course. And it's called Papaitan, which is this. Papaitan translated literally is bitter. Papait, papait, bitter. Okay, so it's Papaitan, it's a dish. So we start with the. Uh, we start the we hit the wok, put it in high. So now we gotta put the oil and you can hear this sizzling too because you get water in it. See it's singing. We gonna try to avoid hitting the the director here. Okay. Here we go, that's really hot. You can hear it singing in there. The Trinity! We start with ginger. When you're cooking, always have a towel ready. You never know what can happen. And you never know you have to do. You have to cut the hot handle. And it's not too hot because it's, you know, we just cook the first item here. But in the, in the regular kitchen restaurant, it's all the time. And when, it, when the handle is hot, you don't leave it like that. You tell everybody it's hot. What do you, how do, how do they know it's hot? You put your towel in there or a piece of paper or what, anything to attract attention. What is that doing in there? Must be a reason. The reason is because we want to avoid people from hurting yourself. Okay? Then we need we put the, it's kind of brown now, we put the garlic. We're browning, browning it now because it is papayita after all. Now, the onion. Put the meat now because we want it tenderized a little bit. It's very it's in high heat now, so it's smoking. Put a little liquid in there to put. Instead of water, you can use wine also. Or if believe it or not, rum would be good too. If you want to. Now we put the we put the spiders. Thyme. Tarragon. So we use this also for boiling it. We can use it for sauteing also, okay? It's good in it. We can put the fish, fish sauce.
We could probably put a little more water there, if we buy it, to send the rest to me. Remember the spice in there now, we have the salty given, which is the fish sauce. Now we're going to put the shrimp base and the chicken base. hot pepper. It's very small but very strong. Hot pepper. We just put it there and cook it a little bit. And we put the mamacita sinigang mix to give it a sour, sour flavor. And cover it, bring it to a boil, and then bring up it. Boil you boil it for about uh, three minutes and simmer for another eight to ten minutes. Okay, now we're in the last process of cooking this papa itan. You notice the bitter gourd is in there, it's a palaya. I'm gonna mix this. Why do I mix it? To make it bitter. Usually, we don't want it bitter. You don't mix it until it's cooked. But in this, in this time, I'm gonna mix it, and then what did I say? Instead of using the the animal pile, which is to me, you know, I'm gonna use the bitter item, which is the ampalaya, to beat, make this particular dish bitter. Here we go. We're just gonna put it here. Guaranteed, this is going to be very, very bitter. This is a roadside dish that's very popular on the way to the province of Ilocos Norte. Okay. We bring this to a boil and we are done.